Hi. Um, so, I've started. So today is Monday, and Tour de Sock started on Saturday or during the US Culinary Fest adventure. Uh, the pattern was published around four o'clock in the afternoon, and I got my way to starting them about nine o'clock in the evening because I was socializing. I felt like my time was better spent there because I have no illusions about winning. I'm not even trying to be that speedy because my neck and shoulder pains won't let me be that speedy and my home life won't let me be that speedy at the moment so so whatever but I did get them started on Saturday and I I knit on them a little bit on Sunday evening after I had come home and uh, yeah, this is how much I have. So I've done the start and the ribbing and I've started on the on the leg pattern. Nothing much. Uh, I'm using hedgehog, uh, hedgehog fibers twist sock, I think. So it's the high twist version of sock yarn and the colorway name is Artifact and I really, really... the knowledge uh, the the info they gave before the start of that uh, the uh, stage one they said that you can go absolutely wild you can use all the uh, the craziest skein of yarn that you can find and I tend not to have that many crazy crazy uh, skeins but I <laughs> this is the kind of crazy that I like, like even though I've realized that this is really not that crazy. You can see it on the cake better. So it's a very light uh, grayish, uh, brownish gray, and it has these lovely neon pops, speckles, rainbow colored pops. So I really, really like this. I bought this last year from the US Culinary Fest. Not from the marketplace because I missed it, but uh, I did buy this yarn from there back then. I was thinking about doing a uh, birds of a feather shawl out of this and another hedgehog fiber yarn, but since I hadn't done it and start even started it yet, I did wind the cakes and I did I think maybe start and did do a few rows on the other skein and then I ripped it back for I don't I can't remember why. But yeah, since I hadn't started that yet, I thought that this would be a good yarn for these socks. And I do really like how it's turning out so far. I'm hoping I will get these knit uh, by the next kind of my own mental deadline for the next video. So maybe today is the 9th. Hopefully I... It's not impossible to get them done by by the 15th, which I try to have as around that time to public, uh, to upload another video from me. So this, this video might be the next one. So we'll see how that goes. That's all I have for now. Okay, let's see if we can get through this without the camera flipping out completely. There might be some weird, weird cuts, so. But yeah, um, today is Wednesday the 17th. So I finished my Tour de Sock stage one socks on Friday. Should have recorded on the weekend, but I got busy. We had a surprisingly busy weekend, um, but yeah. Both of them are done, as you probably may have guessed, since I used Magic Loop two at a time. But yeah, uh, so what I forgot to mention in the last clip is that the designer behind these socks is Adrian Fong, and the pattern name is Plan A. Um, yeah, they came along really quickly. Uh, 
course, if you're not familiar with Tour de Soc, it has certain specific uh, requirements to qualify for points. And uh, with the requirements, uh, these came out a little bit too long. So uh, you, the minimum requirement for the leg was six repeats of this pattern. And then for the foot, it was seven. And I did do that. I wondered while I was doing it that I probably would, would, wouldn't have gotten spanked if I had done seven repeats on the leg and six on the foot since the main thing is that you have enough repeats all together. But I did as was re strictly required. And after I had sent the pictures uh, for in order to qualify these for the competition, um, uh, well, before that, I put a lifeline after the sixth repeat on the foot, and then I once I had sent the pictures, I ripped back and did the f and did the toe again. So now they're much more appropriate styles for me. Um, uh, Adrian Fong had s stated that this pattern would be good for those crazy, crazy skeins, single skeins of yarn that you don't know what to do with with them. Um, personally, I don't agree. The ones that I've seen with busier yarn, I feel like even if this is quite a simple pattern, I think it gets lost in it. But this, the yarn that I have, I think is really good for it. And I might need to buy this yarn again for something else because I, I'm not sure how well it comes out. But it, I, I really love the really kind of colourful speckles that they have especially on the stockinette bottom in in the leg and the foot, top of the foot it's not quite as good but here it's really really lovely and I might have to buy this yarn for some other project as well um, yeah uh, the the construction is basically heel flap and, and gusset but as you can see the gusset decreases are on the bottom of the foot and not on the side of the foot as it's maybe um, a bit more often used that it's on the side of the foot. It was a fun, fun construction, it fits my foot fine. Yeah, I'm sure this will, this will get a lot of wear once it's cold enough to need socks. At the moment it's uh, 29 degrees centigrade in the shade, so it's way too warm, it's quite frankly it's way too warm for just about any clothes, let alone wool, wool socks. But, but yeah, I'm really happy that I have them finished. The one thing that I will have to try, uh, the new stage 2 starts um, tomorrow towards the night I think it was somewhere around maybe eight o'clock in the evening if I'm not completely mistaken but a little over a day until the next stage begins depending on what the pattern is if I if it's even remotely nice I will will be knitting it and I will be try trying for a better si uh, um, what is it? Uh, but with well, with these socks, I was some, somewhere like three hundred and forty eighth or ninth. These were the three hundred and forty eighth or ninth pair finished and qualified. So with the next pair, if the if the pattern is good. If that if it's something that that is doesn't seem completely unappealing for me, I will be trying to get a little bit better placement because I could have been faster with these, but for some reason, well, life gets in the way of knitting sometimes. 
they're done. I'm not more than a few days late with posting this and I will be posting turtle sock videos um, in the time frame that I get, get this finished. I'm not gonna wait for a whole month because otherwise that, that would take the rest of the year to get if, if I need all of the socks uh, socks into a sock it would take rest of the year to just put up, put up videos about knitting two of the socks two of the socks <laughs> uh, but yeah so I will be these will be more frequent videos and then hopefully I will get something done in between so it's not just socks but if I don't then I, I will be doing it so that um, whatever I decide to do with the video so if I for example if I get uh, the next socks done and then I put up a photo uh, that put up um, video I will be trying to or if I don't get any other socks done I will be thinking about maybe from month from that until the next video should be up so until I get something else completed I'm not sure you got any of that but these are done I'm happy about it and we'll see each other with the next sock, socks or next finished project.